All right, so you're minding your own business, doing your thing, wearing your Sperry's, getting compliments, looking good, going about your day. Next thing you know, you look down and, oh, dang it, my shoe's untied. Whatever shall I do? Well, I couldn't seem to find anywhere on YouTube where somebody knew how to tie the shoes correctly, and as far as I know, I found the way to tie them correctly. So I'm going to help anybody that has the same dilemma that I had today, and hopefully... I don't know, just help. So here's how you do it. You take both your shoelaces. You may do the right over the left or the left over the right. And you pull. It, that is called a simple square knot. Okay? Now you're going to make a bow or a ribbon or a loop or however you want to phrase this with each string, each end of the shoelace. Then you're going to do that same knot we just did. Let me redo that in, in normal speed. You're going to do that same knot we just did, the square knot. But you're going to make sure you get both of these ribbons or loops or bunny ears, however you want to call them. And you're just going to pull them nice and taut. You may have to roll it over a little bit to make it look right. And now, my friends, you have just tied Sperry's how they look when they come out of the box. And as far as I can tell, this is a knot that is tied. Uh, I don't know if people on the internet simply were not able to figure this out. But I hope that I can help you guys out a little bit. I'll let you take a look for yourself in the, or yourself in the side. But I'm fairly confident that this is the right kind of knot to tie. Get you some light here. So, now you you can go about your day and you don't have to worry about figuring out how to tie your dang shoes because you don't know how because I've just helped you. So may your shoe wearing days be long and prosperous. I hope that I've helped you out. If, you, if I did, just say thanks to me in the comments. That's all I need. Okay guys, hope it helped. Adios.